The famous Maxwell Hawker Food Centre is directly opposite what used to be the old Jin Riksha Station, a rickshaw registration and inspection centre in the 60s. Maxwell eventually became home to this China Street rickshaw noodle store in 1972. But by that time, no more rickshaws. Started in 1943 at a roadside stall by Madame Kyo Ao Tiao, her daughter Madame So, who started helping out when she was 18, now runs the business. Through the years, Madam So has still stuck to her mother's 68-year-old recipe. Its authentic taste is probably the reason why this store recently emerged one of the three winners of the original Hawker Food Award at the City Hawker Food Hunt 2011. But let's ask Singaporean foodies for their opinion. I think when I was like in primary school, I was already eating it uh, before the place was renovated. Then subsequently, uh, I think when they renovated, they moved inside here. My mom has been buying back for me uh, most of the time. I think it's, it's pretty much the same. There's something about the stock, the soup base is uh, really very tasty, but it, I think it used to be better with the pig's blood inside. I'm not too sure what the whole original tasting thing is about, but it's definitely very tasty. I take the lachum me until now. Last time it's not a store, it's a pier only. It's got no, no table one. The mi sua. Last time got pork blood, now no more already. Wa. They still maintain the taste. Got 80% still there. It's been a long time, so I've been in China. I've been in China, so I've been in China. I've been in China, so I've been in China. Well, it seems many seem to miss the tofu-like cubes of pig's blood in their rickshaw noodles. But have there been any other improvements or differences since the old days? Ijenshe 以前隔壁的我客探的安哥是买番薯汤啊他买这种的每个人买他的东西来配我的东西啦所以他没有做了他说安弟我叫你你做你一定好人家才叫你不人家功夫要叫给你没啊他的人也是好啦以前是五分
another store selling the same thing. So if you want to get a taste of this original Hawker Food Award winning dish, remember to be early and be polite.